There's a nine-year-old boy sitting all by himself after a long Friday night Suda, and he's sitting with a transliterated bencher trying to bench properly. He doesn't know how to read Hebrew, and he's uh, slowly going over the words, trying to pronounce each word uh, the way it should be. And it takes him about 10 minutes till he finishes benching. And at that point, there was a few of us who were gathered around him, and uh, after he finishes, we tell him, wow, that, that's so amazing, you know, that you, uh, you took the time, you took the effort after everyone else left to, to, to sit and try to, to bench properly, to thank Hashem. And he brushes it off, he says, it's my privilege I'm able to thank Hashem for the food that he gave us. That's an Ura moment. Last summer, Ura brought 2,000 of our family members to the Siyam Hashas. Many of them were Torah mates. One of the Torah mates who attended had just started reading less than a year earlier. At the Siyam Hashas, he was so inspired that he took upon himself to start Daf Yaimi. Now, many months later, he is still keeping up with the Daf. That is an Ura moment. After joining Chill Zone for many, many sessions and really hooking up with his Torah mate, Jacob decided he wants to join camp. Jacob shows up in camp, and at Teens Got Talent night, after his talent show, he says, I want to tell everybody a story. All the teens are sitting around, and he says, you know, I used to have 100 friends, but when I started learning with my Torah mate, I switched my 100 friends for my one friend, my Torah mate. It was the greatest decision in my life. Today, Jacob is learning in one of the most amazing yeshivas out there. That is a real Ura moment. Joey never kept the Shabbos before in his life. Every month of Shabbos, Joey's only connection to Yiddishkeit is going to Chill Zone. A few weeks ago, on the National Chill Zone Shabbaton, Joey decided that he wants to keep his first Shabbos. His greatest struggle to keep Shabbos was his cell phone. So he decided that he'll let his cell phone run on Thursday, Friday, by the time Shabbos came, his cell phone was dead. On Mata Shabbos, at the National Chill Zone, the grand prize raffle winner was none other than this boy Joey that kept his first Shabbos. The next week, Friday, we got a text from Joey, and he wrote to us that he wants to keep another Shabbos. That Mata Shabbos, right after this man, we all ran to our phones and we opened it up. And when we saw those words, I did it. I kept my second Shabbos. That's an Ura moment. There was a boy in camp. He was so inspired of living a Torah Shabbos every single week. And he wanted to go home with something. He wanted a memory of Shabbos that should last him throughout the year. He came over to me and he asked me the following question. His family is not religious. His siblings, his parents, they're all not religious. He can't keep Shabbos at home. It's almost impossible at this age. He wanted to at least make Kiddush on Shabbos. But where is he going to get grape juice from? He asked me if he could make Kiddush on soda, if he's Yaitza Kiddush on Shabbos. That's an Ura moment. Tisha B'Av in the zone, a Mashpia asked one of her campers why she wants Mashiach to come. She responded, when Mashiach comes, I will not have to hide my kosher food anymore. And that's an Ura moment. There we were, gathered at a Siyam for one of our tour mates who we'll call Robert. Robert who only a few short years ago had never even opened up a Sefer. And here he was, having completed one of the most difficult Mesechtos and Shas. Robert got up to speak, and he said, you know, the Torah can be compared to a great vault. Ura is the key to that vault. My Torah mate is my guide, leading me through the vault to find beautiful gems and stones, the Torah and the mitzvos. Ura, I can never thank you enough for all that you've done for me and how you've changed my life. It wasn't a dry eye in the room. Now that's an Ura moment. Emptiness invades me. It penetrates my soul. Searching for the answer. The meaning of it all. And just when things seem hopeless. They start to come alive. All it takes is a moment. To forever change my life. of sunlight peeking through the clouds and passion that is for me that ignites all those around a flash of inspiration a moment in the light the truth and liberation of knowing your own And you
And you remote. 